um, hats off, sneakers on. All right. So um, it says the table displays the information about people at a neighborhood park. Andre says, well, this is kind of a review. This is like new ish. Um, addition probability addition. Yeah. Addition rule. There we go. Says the number of people wearing sneakers or wearing hats is 21 because there's a total of 10 people wearing a hat and total of 11 people wearing sneakers. Is Andre correct? Tell me. Okay, not the probably. Wait, yes or no? Wait. Is yes. Andre correct? Yes. She said yes. Why? Because it's saying either or, so it's done combined. Either doing one or the other. Okay. So she's saying that the people, number of people wearing hats, number of people wearing sneakers is 11. Okay. So she's saying yes. Now, my question to you is there any overlap of wearing sneakers and hats? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's this guy, right? Oh. So, like, eight of them are wearing both, right? Okay. So you don't want to double count those because this is counting those eight and this is counting those eight, right? Mm -hmm. So when you add these together, yes, you're going to get 21, but you're going to subtract eight of them because they're being doubly counted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so... If they're doing both, you can't count them because they're doing both. You have to count either one or the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're either wearing sneakers or they're wearing a hat. Does that make sense? Okay, so 21 minus 8 is going to give me what? Okay, so what's the probability that a person selected at random from those in the park is wearing sneakers or wearing a hat? Okay, so y'all told me it's going to be 13 out of how many total people? 25. Okay, so 13 divided by 25 is gonna give me, thank you so much, 52%. Look at that five, glorious. So today we are going to talk about the addition rule, okay, which is exactly what we just did. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and write out the addition rule so that you can like, the uh, probability of, be bless you. Minus the intersection of this guy. Oh, okay. It's not bad. So the addition rule is the probability of A or B. Okay, so this union means or. Okay, is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the intersection. Um, fun fact the intersection means and. Well, it looks like yeah. just with the Okay, the table of data summarizes information about the 50 states of the United States. By the way, we have 50 states. From a census in the year 2000, a lot of people don't know that. A state is chosen at random from the list of 50. Let event A be the state name begins with A through M. Event B be the population of the state less than 4 million. Lord. Alaska is one of the 11 states in the top left cell of the table. California is in one of the 15 states in the bottom right cell of the table. Nebraska is one of the 13 states in the bottom left of the table. Wow, this is like a lot of information. New York is in the bottom right. For each event, right, which of the four states listed here is an outcome in that event? Okay, so you're picking Alaska, California, Nebraska, or New York, because they don't know how to spell York. <laughs> This is bothering me. I can't change it. Please okay. make a copy and do it now. <laughs> right over it. Oh, it's true. We have the power. We do. Okay, your film. Okay. So go ahead and draw this um, table down on your paper. And then you're taking Alaska, California, Nebraska, and New York, and you're placing them in these scenarios. Okay, so I'm going to give you a second to like finish copying and then we'll talk. Okay, so. A or B, that means that they have to have less than 4 million and, I'm sorry, less yeah, less than, than 4 million and starts with A through N. 
begins with A through M and less than 4 million. So how many or which state would actually have that? Alaska. Alaska. But it's or, right? So it's anybody who begins with A through M or is less than. Right. So which states all are in that? So you would total the amount that have less than, no, no. So you're just saying which states wouldn't be included in that? Would not. So would, would be include that. So Alaska. We'll come back and we'll finish this. Alaska goes here. California. And. Okay, so we'll finish that. Back to our previously scheduled program. So, A or B. I mean, is that anything that fits in population less than 4 million, as well as, or anything that begins with A through N? Okay, so what would fit in that? There can be more than one state. Less than 4 million, or nay, to begin with A through N. Alaska, California, Alaska, Cali, uh, Nebraska, New York would not. New York has more, at least four million. We want less than. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, probability of A. So they have a state name that begins with A through M. What would classify in that? Alaska and, California. Alaska and California. I should probably use their little abbreviations. That's okay. Okay. What about probability of B? So that means population is less than 4 million. Alaska and Nebraska. Yep. A and B. Just Alaska. I don't know why I said it like that. Or Alaska. <laughs> Okay, so find each of the probabilities when a state is chosen at random. Okay, so we're gonna find the probabilities of what we just did. So it's the same charts, okay? I'm gonna suggest us total up all the sides though. So really quick. Okay, so from here, there's gonna be 24. From here, there's gonna be 26. This way, we're gonna be, and then this way. Oh, that's awkward. And then this in total is gonna be perfect. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so probability of A or B. Okay, so that means anybody who is less than 4 million or names begin with A through M. Okay, so last time we talked about this, we said, hey, take this number plus this number and do what? Minus the total. And then minus what? 11, because that's where they intersect, right? Oh, the, yeah, the total. Okay, intersects. so we're going to take 24 plus 26 and subtract 11. So I'm gonna do the math. Okay, and then that's gonna be out of 50, right? So 39 out of 50 is gonna be like 68, 78, whatever it is. 78%, so too good. Okay, probability of A, that means that anybody who has the state name that begins with A through M, so 26 out of 54, I'm sorry, 50. 26 out of 50, thank you. And then probability of B is going to be anybody who is less than 4 million. So 24 out of 50, give me 48. And then anybody who has it crossed over, so 11, out of 50, which is gonna be 22. Okay, I'm gonna let you catch up. All right, ready? So seniors at a high school are allowed to go on campus for lunch, lucky, if they have a grade of A in all of their classes or perfect attendance. An assistant principal in charge of academics knows that the probability of a randomly selected senior having A's in all their classes is <laughs> 0 0.1. All right. So that's 10%, right? That's 10%, okay. 
So an assistant principal in charge of attendance knows that the probability of a randomly selected senior having perfect attendance is 0.16 or 16%. The cafeteria staff know that the probability of a randomly selected senior being allowed to go off campus for lunch is 0.18. Use the addition rule to find the probability that a randomly selected senior has all A's and perfect attendance. How do we go about solving this problem? Okay, so what are we gonna do? Table. Addition rule. No, we're not gonna make a table because they give us all this, this information, right? Okay, so what is of it A? All A's in the classes. So that's a probability of 0. 0.1, right? All. Yeah. I mean, it makes it just a little bit more complicated, but yeah. Okay, probability of B, what is that? Okay, and what's a, uh, it's 0. 0.16, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, now the question is, use the addition rule to prob find the probability that a randomly selected senior has all A's, and that should be, this should actually say, or perfect attendance. Because if it says and, that means that we're looking at the crossover. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take probability of A plus the probability of B, right? But we're going to subtract the intersection. Well, where does the intersection come from? Okay, the lunch ladies know, right? Okay, 0.18. I'm sorry, 0.18. Okay, so take a second. Calculate it for me. Huh? So it should be like 0. 0.1 plus 0. 0.16 and then minus 0. 0.18. 0. 0.08. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got an 8% chance that they are all A's or the perfect sentence. These seniors are horrible. That's where we're at. Oh, no. No. Well, okay. You also got to think about it. Like a 4.0 would be all A's, right? Okay, the people who have 4.0s are normally like within your top 10 to 20% of your class, which is roughly around there, right? Yeah. Okay, so I got 48%. Here's how I did it. Okay, I said 48 is how many children's tickets. In the afternoon, there's 163. And we're going to subtract what they like cross over. So that's going to be 175. Divided by 363, which is a total. And that gives me 48% if Amy's math is right. Okay, <laughs> Ellen confirms. Okay, can you taco tongue or evil eyebrow? Okay, so I want you to look at your partner and I want you to try to taco tongue. So that means like you're taking your tongue and you're like folding it in half or you can like evil eyebrow. So that's like that. Take a second, find out who can do it. Raise your hand if you can taco tongue. Jeez, there's so many of y'all. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 people. Okay, so there's 23 people that can taco tongue. Okay, how many of y'all can evil eyebrow? Did you confirm with your partner? Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, no. 14, 14, 15. Okay, 15 people can evil eyebrow. Fantastic. How many people do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 28, 28 people is total okay that's amazing okay all right now we know that was it that was all we need to know all right so how many we're gonna fill in this little table right here some people believe that the ability to taco tongue all right shh, shh. 
Okay, taco tongue and evil eyebrow is something that are, you are born with. Okay, is this true? Are the two abilities somehow related? Collect the class data to fill in the two-way table and Venn diagram. So what we did was out of the total, we had 23 that could evil eyebrow. We had, fifth, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. 23 and then 15. Okay, who could not do either? Who could not do I? Wow, Elizabeth. That's tough. That's tough. Oh, there's two people. Awkward. Awkward. Okay. Two people. Okay. Who can? Who can? Um. Taco tongue. All right. Ready? Who can taco tongue? but cannot evil eyebrow. Okay, one, two, three, four. There's more hands. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people. Okay. Can you fill in the rest of this table? Yeah. All right, take a second. All right. Okay, ready? Yeah. So I filled in my table, okay? And we're also going to complete the Venn diagram. So how many can do both? How many? No, I'm, I'm talking about from the table, from the table. 15 people. That's going to go in the middle. Okay. We established that two people cannot do both. They fill it out here. Okay. And then how many can taco tongue? Okay. But of those, of those 23 people, how many were, were yes, taco tongue, but no evil eyebrow? Okay, and then over here, how many were yes, evil eyebrow, but no taco tongue? Three. Okay, that's how you would fill in a Venn diagram. So notice how the numbers are very similar, but they located in different places. Okay, great. Okay, so you're gonna need this information before the next page. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you just working? There's work here. <laughs> okay. So what I'd like for you to do is okay. What'd you get? What'd you get for yes taco tongue? 82%. All right, what about evil eyebrow? Okay. <laughs> What about no taco tongue? Uh, 17, 18, questionably. Okay, no evil eyebrow. Okay. And then yes, taco tongue and yes, evil eyebrow. Okay. Yes, evil eyebrow and no taco tongue. I got 10, 11%. Yes, taco tongue and no evil eyebrow. Okay, no taco tongue and no evil eyebrow. You're doing 